Hi everybody, my name is Dave Marsh. I'd like to welcome you to this Matrix version 6.5 stats tutorial. Now before I begin, I'd like to mention that because each MLS has slightly different requirements, the system that we'll be using during this tutorial may differ slightly from the one that you're currently working with. Nevertheless, the functionality is the same and for the most part, whatever you see during this tutorial, you'll easily recognize in your own system. Now I'm going to take for granted that everyone knows how to log into the system, so we'll start by inserting our user ID and our password, then click login to begin. Now there are a couple of ways to create a stat within Matrix. The first is by accessing the stats generator, and we'll do that by hovering the stats link in the top menu. Then select which property type you'd like to run the stats on. For this example, let's choose residential. And from here, you'll notice that we have a couple of different stat options. The first are called presets, and these are essentially predefined statistics that can be quickly generated simply by choosing a stat, then clicking on the generate button. Now because they're presets, their parameters, such as time frame and how they should be grouped, have already been defined. But let's say you're not interested in sales from the past six years. Perhaps you're only interested in the past 12 months. Well, we can override any of the preset parameters simply by clicking on the Customize tab, then selecting the new values. From here, we can choose to either generate our new stat for the entire system, or perhaps we'd like to narrow our search by adding some additional criteria. So let's go ahead and do that by creating a stat that's only for a specific area. And we're only interested in properties that were listed here for between five and $600,000. And if you'd like to filter by criteria that isn't currently displayed on the search form, simply click the add link to select your additional fields. But for now, let's just save the preset with the current criteria. And we'll call this one historic sales past 12 months. And I'm also going to choose to add this to my stats widget on the homepage for quick access, just in case I'd ever like to run it when I first log on to the system. All right, so now let's click save. And from here, click the generate button and run this stat with the criteria initially saved with this preset. And with our new chart displayed, we also have the option of viewing just the data or exporting it to a CSV file. Of course, we can also create a custom stat from scratch, and we do this by first clicking the same custom tab, and from here, click the clear button to remove any of the parameters that may be currently filled. All right, this time, let's take a look at the average sale price for listings during the past five years. And while we're at it, let's also add a secondary stat to our chart by clicking on the advanced options link, and then selecting, for example, the number of sales. Now there are several different group by options available, many with their own unique settings, so I'd encourage you to go through and explore each of them individually. In the meantime, let's choose to group our stat by month. And rather than having each of our stats displayed as columns, we'll make the average sale price a line. And while we're at it, let's choose an earth tone style for our graph rather than using the default chart color. Now since I'd like to run this stat on the entire MLS system, I'm going to clear any previous criteria that may have been entered. And with that, my custom stat is now ready to be generated. From here, perhaps you'd like to print it as a PDF to include as a custom page in a CMA. Notice as well that we can also choose to include the tabular data. Or maybe you'd prefer just to send it directly to a client's portal. And again, you'll need to specify if you'd also like to include the tabular data. All right, at the beginning of this tutorial, I mentioned that there were a couple of ways to create a stat in Matrix. In this second method, instead of accessing the stat feature directly and then entering our search criteria, we're first going to create a search, and then we're going to export our criteria into stats. This is particularly useful if you'd like to run statistics on a specific search without having to re-enter all the criteria again in the stats module. So let's go ahead and do that, and we'll begin by isolating some very specific areas on our map. And while I do this, keep in mind how difficult this might have been if I had to recreate this exact map in the stats feature, rather than just exporting it in. All right, next we're going to take a look at all single family properties in these areas that are less than $2 million, 
have two plus bedrooms, three plus bathrooms, and were built in 2005 or later. And we see that there are currently 1,616 listings that meet this criteria. So now let's click on results. And from the button bar, we're going to click the stats link. All right, we see that we have two different stat options available. The first type is charts, and this will take us to the stats feature we just saw a few moments ago. But before we get into that, let's click on tabular and take a look at some combined minimum, maximum, and average values for each of these 1,616 listings. Again, these are the tabular stats for all of our 1,616 listings. If, however, we only wanted to generate tabular stats for specific listings, we would first select which properties we'd like to run the stats on, and then click the tabular link. But before I do this, notice that the charts option has now been disabled. And this is because chart stats can only be generated on search criteria. Chart stats cannot be run on specific listings. So now let's return to our search results, but this time, Let's deselect the listings and click on charts. And we're back in our stats module, but this time, as we expected, it's already added our search criteria. Again, imagine how difficult this might have been if we had to recreate this exact same area that we just ran a search on. So you can now see how useful running stats directly from a search can be, rather than opening the stats feature and having to re-enter all of your criteria. All right, well, this concludes the Matrix Stats tutorial. I'd like to thank you for watching and hope that you can join me for another session. Take care.